Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my Campanotus Herculinus colony. Now these have done a large amount of growing, and I mean large. So let me just take you back through a few photos of about four months ago. As you can see, there's not a lot of activity in the outworld. They have a much smaller nest, and then a few months ago they were given a larger nest, and they now fill that nest and the outworld is a flurry of activity from a lot of workers that have become the right age and they are now foragers. So I'm really happy with the progress that they've been making and um, they're certainly one of my favourite colonies. Sometimes it's not so much the species to the, um, the journey that you take with your ants because I've grown these up from a queen and a few workers to now and I think it's the journey that's the most uh, fun and rewarding part well not so much what species it is but your journey with them that's the best part now these guys have a diet of fresh fruit mainly apple because I find it's the best for not messing up the grouted out world um, sometimes they even have a piece of the banana uh, on tin foil and stuff like that and um, their main source of protein is mealworms. They get mealworms every couple of days, even sometimes only every three or four days, um, just to make sure that they don't become too reliant on being fed every single day. Um, so it's a bit of a mix, and as you can see, they're growing perfectly fine and have adapted fine. Um, so it's mealworms mainly, the odd piece of chicken, stuff like that, and very, and very rarely I will chuck in some blue bottles that I will hatch myself from casters. And that's pretty much what their diet is, apart from sugared water and honey water. Um, but that's their diet, and as you can see, it does fantastic. Now. These were once called like sugar ants, that sort of thing, but that is a wide range of ants. But as you can see, these are thriving perfectly fine. And you know, just this section here, all these workers and majors, it's rather impressive compared to when you look at when they started out. And this is what I mean by the journey. Looking at them now, they are one of my favourite colonies. Or say, let's not go with favourite, it's one of the colonies I'm most fond of. And definitely couldn't let go. Um, I have this weird habit of putting their ant nectar on top of their on top of their drinking tubes on uh, most of my colonies, um, and they really rather quite like it. And it means I can get some really nice shots and get to watch them close up as well on a daily basis when I give them the sugar. And yeah, I really think it's. Uh, it's quite cool. It means I don't have to actually use a bowl inside or anything. And uh, yeah, they rather like it. And um, I think it's a rather handy thing to do if you've got anything like similar like that. Sometimes I will just also, to make them go and look for it, because they actually learn where the food goes in, to make them go and look for it, sometimes I'll put like a drip on a random rock somewhere in their outworld, somewhere that they've never had it before or maybe not for months and they will go find it and then they'll spread the word and you get to watch them um, essentially going taking a new route all of them that don't know where the, the drop is taking the new route by the pheromones and it's really rather cool so I do like giving them a bit of variety and that um, their temperature monitored and they are heat cable heated in just two chambers of the eight and no thermostat for these guys and as you can see i'm really happy with these so i hope you've enjoyed this update and i'll be bringing you more reviews and updates very soon thanks a lot guys